Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today for Declutter Week, we are going to be going through all of my face powders, blushes, bronzers, and maybe face palettes. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to do the face palettes, but that is the goal, along with my highlighters. <laughs> so face powders, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and if we have enough time, then face palettes. I might have to give face palettes their own video because I have now an entire drawer of face palettes. This one I don't think is going to be as uh, harsh or a uh, cutthroat as like my um, foundation to clutter or my uh, eyeshadow brush to clutter where we got rid of more than half of my eyeshadow brushes. This one I've actually been doing a decent job of really only buying what I need and I haven't really been buying like blushes or bronzers recently but I still own quite a lot of blushes so I think I can cut that down by a lot. So that's that's the goal. <laughs> I was going to do loose powders, but I literally only own two loose powders right now. So these are the two. This is the AOA Studio and the Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm pretty happy with those. And once I finish those, I'll probably just repurchase one or the other. So let's save the blushes for last. Let's go through the face powders first, because I really don't think... Wait, did I already do face powders? I think I already did face powders. Sometimes I'm a bit slow. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, because I've gotten rid of a few of these. So face powders are done. <laughs> Let's start with the um, bronzers and contours because originally when I set this up, this was going to be blushes and this was going to be bronzers, but blushes have been overflowing into here for a bit. So I think I'm going to flip them around because the goal would be to get all my bronzers into here and keep the blushes within here. So let me do that first, then we'll go through the bronzers. So I actually only have a couple of bronzers, which is pretty shocking to me, and I think I'm really only get rid of one or two. So the first one I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, the duo, and uh, I'm keeping this just because it was so expensive. <laughs> I really don't think it's anything special, but it's pricey and I'm gonna hold it there. Next we have this Makeup Geek Bronzer. This is in the shade Tawny. And it's okay. It's, uh, again, like nothing terribly special. I really wonder if with the rebranding, if they're going to re-release face products. So I'm going to hold on to this. If they do re-release their face products, I might declutter that and like pick up something from the new collection. This little mini butter bronzer, <laughs> focus, I really don't need. I bought a whole mini set, which I didn't need because now I have the butter. It's this giant face palette box of literally every butter product to ever exist ever. So I don't need this little mini. So this can go. This is an ABH bronzer I picked up at TJ Maxx. This is in the shade Tawny and I haven't really used it that much. So I need to get a little bit more use out of this. All right. So this Too Faced bronzer, I had just like a bit of a sentimental hold for this because it was literally the first bronzer I ever bought but I don't reach for it it's not great for my skin tone so this is gonna go next I have this one from Burberry and it's technically a blush but really it's more of a bronzer. and I like the shade it's really pretty so this one's gonna stay and I'm also gonna keep this one this is the take home the bronze from the balm and it's just a really nice bronzer yeah I love the face powders from the uh the balm honestly they're amazing I also have the balm over here. Always wait for their sale. They do like twice a year a 50% off everything sale. That's when you want to pick up their stuff. And last and uh, least <laughs> right now, this is the Catrice Prime and Fine Contouring Palette. It's okay, but I know that there are better, more affordable options, especially if you're looking at like palettes, like face palettes, because there are so many great affordable face palettes out there. And I'm just not reaching for this one. So this is going to go. All right, so those are all the bronzers and contours that I'm keeping, which is really, ha I'm really happy with that. And these are the ones that we are getting rid of or decluttering. I'm not throwing them out. Okay, let's move this and start going through the blushes. And I need to be a little bit harder for the blushes because this is too much blush. And this isn't even all of it. I also have this and I think that's it. So, yikes. All right, let's start with this Milani palette. I actually really love the Milani blush formula, but I don't think I needed the palette. They're really pretty shades and everything, but I have the cult favorite Luminoso, and I love Luminoso more so than the shades in this palette, so. 
yeah i'm gonna keep luminoso and we're gonna get rid of this palette next you know what i've got a duo with nars orgasm and i i never use it i never touch for it so this is bye bye this one is from shop miss a it's an amuse blush in what shade or i don't even know what shade this is but it's just all right uh yeah so i'm gonna get rid of that one this one i think is so cute this is from geek chic cosmetics and this is the let them eat cake loose blush it's a marie antoinette themed and i just think it's adorable so i'm gonna keep that one i'm also gonna keep both of these these are from shop miss a and they're just their little pot blushes for a dollar each and i've got an orange and a mauve so cute little right there this blush i rarely reach for and i don't think i really need to keep it this is from elf and yeah this is gonna go let's talk about this one this is a big blush palette i got from bh cosmetics and it's literally got every shade i could need so i need to keep this in mind when i'm looking at the other shades so this is good so i'm gonna keep this like where, where could you fit like on the side like there this one i really love but it's pretty similar to luminoso uh, you know what i'm gonna keep it this is the California blush from Benefit, and I just, I really like how it's like glowy, but it's like peachy pinky. It's really pretty. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I need to keep this one. This is another ABH blush trio, and I've got these pinks, so I don't need to keep this one. Yeah, this one can go. This is a really pretty, like, mauve blush from Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. That one i'll keep it's my only pretty vulgar cosmetics product so we'll hold on to that one this is a blush and glow mini from natasha denona and honestly it really didn't live up to the hype and i don't use it yeah that one can go and last but not least we have this mac and patrick star duo it is a bit different from what i have in my collection so i think i can keep this and i do love the packaging oh my god it looks so much better we literally got rid of like half of my blushes and then our bronzers are gonna be right there. Oh, that looks so much better. So nice and neat. And this can go, we'll just close with that in the middle. Barely. <laughs> so we'll keep that just in the back. And I do have a Z palette here with like depotted face products, but I'm gonna do those. I need to declutter my single shadows and anything depotted. So that's gonna be its own separate video. Now it's highlighter time. <laughs> I have a tough time with highlighters because I really love them. And for the most part, you can get like really awesome, affordable highlighters. So it's easy to collect them. All right, so let's go through the palettes first. These are just highlighting palettes. If it's a palette that has uh, more than just a highlighter, then I included it in my face palettes and not in here. So I think I'm going to keep all of these because I really do like them. <laughs> They're mostly glow kits. I have the... Uh, sugar glow kit it's really pretty i love the starburst shade and marshmallow i have the moon child glow kit which is beautiful i also have the dream glow kit which is also stunning and then i have the sun dipped glow kit which is mostly too dark for me but i actually really like using these darker shades as like a glowy bronzer in the summer and then I have this Wet n Wild highlighting palette, which I think is just so nice. Yeah, so those, I've got a weakness for those highlighting palettes, so those are going to stay. So now, let's take a look down here. This is another mini from Musician's Formula, and now that I have that big box that has literally every butter product, I don't need this mini, so this is going to go. What is this one? This is Moonstone from Becca. And I barely touch this one. Oh, but that's so pretty. Oh, I have other Becca highlighters that I like more, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. So then we can move this one over. This is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip in Nude, and I love these shimmer strips. They're so nice. So definitely keeping that one. Also definitely keeping this Fenty highlighter because I'm actually almost done with it. And this is the duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. This is one of my most favorite highlighters of all time. This is the Royal Glow Highlighter from Becca. And not only do I have this, I also have a backup of this. That's how much I love it. Which one is this one? Nightlight. And I have Celestial. So these are both from Makeup Geek. I'm going to get rid of Nightlight because I don't like the shade as much. I got this one from Target. This one came in my 
uh, Try Beauty box, and I do think this one's a lot prettier, so I'm gonna keep this one. I used to have a few more of these, I think, and I decluttered all of them, but like these two. These are like little minis from Becca. These are the Light Chaser highlighters, and I like both of these. These are the shades Opal Flashes Jade and Pearl Flashes Gold. Those will stay. This I think can go. I'm not a huge fan of the CoverGirl highlighter formula and this is, yeah, I actually use this one. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one. So this is gonna go. Oh my God, I'm doing so much better than I thought I would. <laughs> this is another product from Geek Chic Cosmetics that I love and this is the Moon Tiara Stardust Highlighter. I have to keep that. I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and it's just like the, one of the best natural highlighters but also the most affordable highlighters ever. Love it. This is the repressed version of the AOA Studio highlighter in Eris, and then I have the... Nope, that's not it. I have the non-pressed version somewhere, too. Oh, it's over here. So I have the repressed and the original. So I'm going to keep both of those to use, like, as reference. Uh, this one I barely used. Why did I get this? I think I bought the hype because this is... A whisper of guilt and I think this was like a limited edition Mac product and then they brought it back and then everyone lost their shit and I jumped on the bandwagon and got it but am I using it no I'm gonna use it but it's on the chopping block I'm gonna bring it into my makeup basket for next month and if I don't reach for it at the end of that basket it's gone next we have this Jeffree Star highlighter in ice cold and I actually hit pan on this and I think I want to confirm it by going through my collection, but I think I found a perfect dupe for this. And if I have found the dupe for it, I want to declutter it. So I'm going to hold on to this just until I can confirm whether or not I have that dupe. And then I want to do either an update in my next Pen That Palette video, or an update in general about how I'm duping my remaining Jeffree Star products. Over here we have a highlighting palette from Kylie. This is from the Weather Collection, which I think was limited edition. But I actually love this highlighting palette. The only downside is that I can use all these shades. So this is not for every skin tone because I'm pale as hell and I can use each one of these. So it worked well for me. I like it. I'm going to keep it. But this wasn't really great for everyone. <laughs> okay, so I only got rid of a couple of highlighters, but I think I did better than I thought I would. <laughs> so yeah, I still have a pretty big highlighter collection. And that's not even including what I have in my face palettes. So I think next we have to jump into the face palettes. That one's going to be tough. All right, so this is the bottom drawer of my Alex 5 drawer, and it's full of face palettes. It is too hard to try and film with this very bottom drawer, so I'm going to pull out all the face palettes. I'm going to go through them on my rug instead. Okay, so there's so many palettes here, and I honestly don't know how many I'm going to get rid of. This one's definitely a keeper. This is the huge Physician's Formula Butter Book. The reason why I got rid of other products is this literally has every butter book product in history so keeping this 100 percent this is from abh and this is a cream contour kit and it's the only cream contour kit i own so i think i'm gonna keep it just because it's like my only cream product this is the powder contour kit from abh and like uh, it's all right i got it out of like a marshall's but like do i need it i don't think so so this is gonna go oof that was hard oh all right this one can also go this is from essence and this is the peachy bean <laughs> uh palette and it's just like okay it was a weird collab and i don't really reach for it so this one can go this contour palette i've been using recently and i actually love this is from makeup revolution this is the pro hd powder contour it's just such a really good palette and i like it a lot so i'm definitely going to keep this one this one i have to keep because i actually really love it it's the original clay play face palette from tarte they don't make this anymore so I, I have to keep it. I love these face powders down here. This is perfect for traveling. I, I love everything about this palette. I've got to keep my hourglass palette. I've already decluttered another hourglass face palette, and this is the only one that I love enough to definitely keep. And this is the Unlocked Ambient Lighting Edit Palette from Holiday 2018. All right, next let's talk about Smashbox. I have this Ablaze face palette that I adore. It's like the perfect face palette for the summer and it's got my perfect shades and I love this so I have to keep this one. This is gonna be hard but I, I need to get rid of, not get rid of, but give this to a better home. This is a huge Smashbox palette I bought I think a year ago during the holidays because it was on sale for like $19 but I have other Smashbox products. I've barely touched this and I'm never gonna use all of these. 
literally never. It's beautiful packaging. I got it on a great deal, but it just, I shouldn't have gotten it, you know? So this is going to go to a better home. Okay, before we get into all the Profusion palettes, this is from Too Faced, and this is the Natural Face palette. And I actually really like the products in here. I love the blushes and the highlighters. And this bronzer is nice. This one's a little too dark and too shimmery, but I like the rest of the palette a lot. So I'm going to keep this one. All right, so you might be thinking, Monica, why do you have so many Profusion palettes? <laughs> I went a bit nuts because I really wanted to do a thorough review on all of the Profusion palettes I could get my hands on. And I think I got too many. So I can get rid of a couple of these. Uh, first of all, this Mixed Metals palette, it's nothing really special. It's just a big highlighter, a big blush, and neutral shades. This can go. Okay, this big eye and cheek palette. Uh, I didn't need this. I don't rage for this. This can go. Both of these I want to keep because they're supposed to be dupes for the Tarte palette the clay play palette so the golden nudes and then the pink nude so i'm gonna keep both of these i this is actually the first profusion palette i think i ever got and it's the sculpt and glow palette i love this palette it is amazing and it's so good that's why i actually bought the rest of these because this was just such great quality so i have to keep this one uh same with this highlight and contour palette this is an amazing quality palette this rivals like the smashbox formula so i have to keep this one now when it comes to these blush and glow palettes, I don't reach for these. Do I need to keep- I don't need to keep both of them. Definitely. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the palette number one. I'm pretty sure it's for lighter skin tones and this one's for deeper ones. Someone else can get some really good use out of this one. And then I'll just keep the blush and glow one. Okay, so those are the face palettes I decluttered. I, <laughs> it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's more than I thought I would. I honestly didn't think I was gonna declutter anything from these face palettes, so... I'm pretty proud of myself. And here is our reorganized and cleaned out face palette drawer. All right, so here are all of the blushes, contours, bronzers, face palettes, and highlighters that we have decluttered. I think I did a really good job. It's about a third, I think, overall of the products and they're going to go to really good homes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what else you're excited to see in Declutter Week down below. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.